What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chingy. And today we're going to be making a chartreuse and hologram flake swim bait. First things first, make sure you always mix your plastisol. If not, the oils will separate in the plastisol and you'll get a bad cure. I'm going to be making one order, so I won't be using a full cup. I'm going to start by heating it up for two minutes initially. Same goes for your pigments. They also will separate in bottles if they sit for too long. Making swim baits is all in prep work, so I have everything ready so that when you pull your plastisol out the microwave, all you'll have to do is check the temperature, add your pigment and flakes, and you'll be ready to mix before you shoot it. The injector is the most important tool, obviously. So what I like to do is oil the inside so that you'll have a smooth, steady draw. Make sure you're giving your injector a few good pumps to ensure that the inside is completely oiled and ready for shooting. This is about four minutes total. Temperature is at about 395. The garage is super cold, so it'll give me just a little bit more time to go ahead and add the pigments and the flakes because it will cool down a lot faster. I normally put about anywhere between 20 and 30 drops. It's important that you bring your color up instead of trying to dilute it at the end if it's too dark. These flakes are designed for high temperature. They can withstand about 350 to 400 degrees. So just make sure you get the correct flakes before trying to add anything into your heated plastisol. As you're mixing it, what you're doing is you're introducing air into your plastisol, which in turn makes bubbles. So it's important that you put it in your vacuum chamber. But when you do this, you always have to keep an eye on it because it will rise on you. If you're not paying attention, the plastisol will overflow in your chamber. Right here you can see that it cooled down while the was going through the process. What you'll have to do is reheat it for usually about 30 seconds just to get it to a liquid state again before throwing it back in the vacuum chamber or if it's already completed you can go ahead and just go ahead and pour and shoot your molds. I like to pour the plastisol into the injector as opposed to drawing it up from the cup, only because it provides a cleaner transition from mold to mold as I'm injecting it. When injecting the plastisol, it's important that you do a smooth and steady push to ensure the cavities are getting completely filled. That was pretty much my first round right there. So I have to do the whole process minus the vacuum chamber uh, one more time. If you haven't seen my last video, it pretty much shows a mistake that I did when it came to clamping my molds. I will go ahead and leave the link to that last video in the description so you can check that out. 
But here is the unveiling of the double tap. I just want to say thank you for watching the video and if you enjoy the content if you could do me a favor hit that like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos until the next time see you on the last cast